Hey, what's happening? All right, so uh, no intro that time. Uh, let's fix that. Okay, so just a short clip. You're watching Brick Notes. Uh, again, I'm Martin. Today I'm going to do a vlog, and I do a vlog every single Tuesday. So today's special, I really need your input. Um, and I want your input to be very uh, critical, constructive criticism, and it would be very helpful for me. Um, so I'll get to that in a second. A few things I wanted to uh, talk about. Uh, I was looking through Instagram, I love Instagram. Thanks to everyone that's following me there. I'm trying to follow as many people as I can. If I'm not following you, just send me a message and I'll check out what you're posting there. But um, I was checking a post from Lego Small Potato and it's it was like the weather forecast. And he said it's negative six degrees and mostly sunny. I found that humorous because it's mostly sunny, but still below zero. So I felt bad, um, but you know, I look, I, the weather here, the high is going to be 74. In a few days, it'll be 83. Uh, it's just what it's like in Arizona in the wintertime. But believe me, I know what it's like, guys, because I grew up in Iowa. Uh, I lived in Minneapolis for a few years. It got below zero plenty of times. It shoveled a lot of snow, whether it was at my house or working to help other people clear their sidewalk and or driveway, whatever else. So I've been through that, I've been through the ice, all that stuff. So, you know, we've turned a corner, it's March, it's gonna get better. Um, quick little story. I remember one Christmas morning where my dad made my sister and I go shovel snow, not just in our driveway, but down to the church also, before we could even open our Christmas presents. I think I was in about eighth grade, um, so that, you know, when you're an eighth grader and you got to go work for an, an hour or two before you can come back and relax and enjoy Christmas Day, that really was terrible. But uh, it was a good lesson, you know. Uh, but anyways, enough of that stuff. Um, wanted to do a quick note on the viewer Q&A. Um, a lot of you guys have asked a question and it hasn't been answered yet. I just want to let you know I'm probably about a month behind on that. And if you've seen in the news segments that I do twice a week, that's when I will answer a question. So that's probably why it's kind of backing up. So an idea that I was having about that is, you know, potentially doing some sort of live show, which would knock out a few components. A, it would be a live, fun, interactive way, if there's viewers watching live, to, um, I guess, ask more questions and then get all of those questions that have already been asked kind of uh, taken care of and get caught up. Um, so that's A, B, and C, I guess, right there. But uh, just something I was thinking about. I'm not sure if that's really something I want to do, um, but we'll see. Maybe I got to wait until I have uh, a bigger subscriber base or figure out a time that works for uh, a good amount of viewers to be watching because the interaction is really the important thing. So we'll see, just a thought. Um, the main thing I was thinking about today is the animation that I posted. So I, I think a lot of you saw the on the, my other channel, uh, Missing Brick, and when I first finished that, I was all excited. Finished my first animation, got it posted, got it done, and got the views, and felt really good. And then, um, you know, Tiffany was talking to me, and she was pointing out some of the flaws and giving me that constructive criticism, which is what I want from you guys. So now is the chance to write. And I had a lot of great comments on that video, but some of the things that I really want to work on because I want to do these animations going forward and I don't, you know, I want them to be as good as possible. So some of the things that she pointed out that I agree with are the transitions. So slow transitions, the blurry screen, not good. The Ken Burns effect. And if you're not uh, aware of Ken Burns, it's when the screen kind of moves a little bit here or there. Yeah, that was terrible. So I use that too often, and used that. Uh, it's it's usually more for like um, like action or whatever else. So I don't plan to use that in the future. So again, let me know if that bothered you in any way or you just visually didn't like it. Uh, maybe too many camera shots, too many camera angles. Um, what was the other thing? The the pace, the pace. Like 
The biggest thing for her is that she had the idea, she had the story, and it was a great one. And then I created it, and before running it by her, I posted it. So, uh, it's not exactly what she had as an image in her head for the final product. And so I, I get that. And that's why when you look at the pace, you look at the beginning of the animation, it's kind of slow, it's kind of building up. And in, in the story of the idea that she had, it was a quick pace, it was get to the finale where the, you know, the conclusion and the actual I guess, comedy of it takes place. So that's what I want to pick up the pace for. So I do have some plans for, whoa, bump on the table. I do have some plans for some quick animations, some stuff that's maybe 30 seconds long, just blips here and there. And I also want to do some stuff that's longer, five minutes is a long time in uh, stop motion world, and maybe even longer than that. Uh, but we'll see. I got to get these little kinks figured out before I can feel comfortable making something that's big. The last thing was the the intro and the outro very long. I'm not making a movie, so why do I need like a 10-15 second intro and a 30 second outro? Don't really need that, so I'll probably be cutting those things out. But I want you guys to respond. Be very critical. You know, I'm not going to take any offense. Um, and if there's something that wasn't on my list there, please point it out. If there was something that was on my list, just, you know, say, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, it wasn't that great. Um, and again, if you had something that you don't agree with me on, let me know. So, I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry, maybe a odd vlog today or whatever else, but just some things that I was thinking about. Um, Again, yesterday I posted quiz number seven. Tomorrow is going to be my weekly haul. I got some good stuff. And until next time, I think I'll let you guys go. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you later. See ya!